Bonjour! Where are we going? Catacomb. Let's go to the catacomb! ปารีสเนี่ยก็คือเป็นแคทคอมันที่ฝั่งศพอะครับตอนนี้มีกว่าเจ็ดล้านศพแล้วโอ้เล็กซ์โอ้ Someone kiss her. Please at the museum they found a little package and when they unwrapped it, it was a photo of a lady in a wedding dress and on the photo there was some wax placed on the face of the girl on the photo and there were needles planted in the wax. เจอกับอเล็กซ่าเคยดูหนังเรื่อง As Above So Below เว้ยแล้วก็ดูหนังกันเสร็จปุ๊บก็แบบรู้สึกแบบเล่นหนังแบบน่ากลัวมากแบบเป็นคนกลัวที่แคบแล้วดูหนังก็อึดอัดแล้วปรากฏมารู้ว่าจริงๆมันเบสออนแบบเรื่องจริงมันมีสถานที่ที่จริงก็เลยคุยกันปีที่แล้วว่าถ้ามีโอกาสมาฝรั่งเศสต้องไปเที่ยวคาตาโคมกันให้ได้แล้วนี้ก็เรียกรถมาละครับแล้วก็จองทัวร์กันแล้วจะเป็นยังไงเดี๋ยวไปดูกันเลยนะครับ Okay, this is the catacomb. It's just going to be the main thing. So we have to have a tour. We have to have a tour of sex. We have to have a tour of sex. And we have to have a tour of sex. What do we expect from this trip? Why are we so fixated to the catacomb? I don't know. We were like drunk and we were like, babe, let's go to the catacomb. And then we never stopped talking about it. I think by now, the stat we read is like there's 7 million dead bodies down there. It's actually under us, right? Yeah, right now. Right now, 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 right now,
Thank you. Thank you. Merci. You can start to go. I'm going really? to go last to make sure you that sure? we have everyone. Yeah, you're <laughs> You sure? <laughs> okay, we're leading. Yeah. Not a smart idea. Go. We're psychologists, not anthropologists. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Ah. <laughs> this is a sculpture made by um, an Australian. He's been living in Paris for a few years and he discovered catacombs and fell in love with the place. There it is. This is called the Wall Passer. Oh, damn. It's a good example. Oh. And some people spend a lot of time uh, in the catacombs to carve sculptures. Creative space. This is picturing the main harbor of the Minorca Island. Little the sculpture, you see it says, this work was started in 1777 by Decure, also said Beau veteran from His Majesty, and was finished in 1782. 1782, when he completed the sculpture, he decided to open the place to public. But you remember it's a bit slippery. He wanted to ease the access, so he started to build a staircase to, uh, to allow visitors to come down here easily. But during the works, there was a collapsing. Oh. And this killed him. He died because of his love for the quarries. And some people think that the museum is haunted. We are talking about that, and here and here. <laughs> and I think that if there's a ghost, it might be the one of Decure. But wow. I need to see it myself to believe, you know. But I have a photo taken by a visitor when I started oh, to work here. You can see a shadow with le uh, legs, a long coat, and a big hat. And uh, the lady said that when she took the photo, there was no one in the gallery. And when she watched at her phone, she started to really freak out because she was sure that this is a ghost. Are we going in there? No, we are not. <laughs> we can see the water from the second balcony over there. Be careful to don't drop your phone in the water because it's about six feet deep. <laughs> right here, you can see it. How is it today? Ooh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ooh. The water is crystal clear because it's filtered by the rock. It's very pure water. And then when you're ready, we'll go back to the upper level and we'll arrive to the ossuary where the bones are. Black lines. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the black line. Oh, uh, black line. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what? <gasps> it's a trap. <laughs> and this used to be before the museum was made, a lot of people came right, to make graffiti. Yeah. Very, very fragile. So much that one of them collapsed three months ago. All of those completely collapsed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's very, very fragile. Of course, we are not allowed to touch the bones. And now to take one, obviously. <laughs> but it's not obvious for everyone because it happened that some people want to bring a souvenir home, so they yeah. pick up a bone. And that's why the guard of the museum checks the bags when we get out. Oh, I'm yes. afraid they have to do that. This Come is back. Latin. It says, remember your elders. On the other side, it's also a Latin quote saying, remember that death follows you at each step. Let's go in. Existential much. <laughs> oh, Alex. Our bones? Yeah. They just pile on each other. No glue, nothing, no cement. Sometimes they added cement, like here. I see. Ah, okay, I see. Some. So remember that all of the bones we see today are the people buried in the former cemeteries of Paris. Right. So it gave her anyone, the rich ones, poor ones, nobles, children, even celebrities are here. But we don't know where they are. When the quarry men established a place, they were in charge of the stacking of the bones. And they tried to be creative, to create something artistic in order to honor their ancestors. Like that one seemed to be a romantic guy, the man who oh. made this wall because he shaped a heart with a heart. women's girls. And we know that there was a Notre Dame Cathedral picture with bones. Mm -hmm. But the wall collapsed, it's not here anymore, sadly. We are lucky enough to have a photo from 1919 
showing that in the past there was an Eiffel Tower mm. built with human remains here. But same problem, it probably collapsed because it's not here anymore today. The job mm. of the priests in charge of the transfer. The priests uh, used to do that every night in order to be discreet and don't shock the families who had no choice anyway. There's a painting showing the transfer of the bones in 1786. You see, they oh. did it at night to be as discreet as possible. And then they placed the loads of bones on a chair attracted by a horse. They uh, covered them to the view with a black cover. They blessed them with holy water and they escorted them up to here while singing the office of the dead and praying for the dead. But we didn't climb down the staircase like we did because it would have taken ages to bring six, six million skeletons mm. in a spiral, a narrow staircase. So what we did is they dumped the bones down here. They all, all the bones here, made a 65 feet fall straight down to arrive here. It's not very respectful but it's much faster and easier. And that's why after that, the quarrymen used some wheelbarrows and shovels and they displayed the bones all over the site here, dedicated for them. And then they stacked them to create those walls of bones, those galleries mm. of bones. Employees of the museum, they found a little package and when they unwrapped it, it was a photo of a lady in a wedding dress and on the photo uh, there was some wax placed on the face of the girl on the photo and there were needles, like a dozen of needles planted in the wax. It was just like a witchcraft thing and they mm. wrapped it in um, black string and put it in the boat. Mm. Mm. Apparently someone is jealous of her. <laughs> We're going to the second restricted area. You can walk up to the large room over there. Somebody kissed this girl. Kröber, schon mal ab. And after we have to climb 111 steps. If some of you want to stay longer to take more photos, it's okay. Does anyone want to stay longer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leo. It's a great. It's such a great tour. It was a great tour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye bye. bye. So like you saw, right? Like people put hair in. Yeah. แล้วก็แบบ half lipstick แล้วมีคนมาแบบเอาผมมาใส่ทําพิธีแล้วบางคนมาแล้วก็แบบพา lipstick แล้วก็จูบกระโหลกอะไรอย่างเงี้ยคือคนที่เป็นคาตาฟาเขาบอกทุกวันลงมาแบบชอบมีคนแบบขโมยกระดูกชอบแบบวาดกระติตี้อะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับเขาเลยบอกว่าถ้าเกิดขึ้นไปอ่ะตอนออกอ่ะเขาจะตรวจกระเป๋าถ้าโดนตรวจก็อย่ากโกรธเพราะว่านักท่องเที่ยวบางคนมาเราชอบแบบเอาซีเวเนียกลับไปบางทีขโมยแล้วก็กระดูกถล่มลงมาก็มีครับ Alex Do you like it down here It's too sticky Can you stay like two nights? <laughs> yeah, maybe one. One, one night. night. One night. But no toilet. No toilet. No. Just to hold it in. <laughs> no, no beer. No beer. <laughs> you can bring beer. We should have a party. I think so. And now this is the other one. Leo has left us. Only us finding our way out. We're trying to find a 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 way out. We're trying to find Oh, the back line is gone. <laughs> we lost. Back in beer. Let's say back in beer. Back in beer. Back in beer. Back in beer. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hello, ma. เนี่ยเมื่อกี้เราอยู่ข้างล่างนะครับตอนนี้กลับขึ้นไปข้างล่างเสร็จแล้ว
We arrived. We made it. I'm so lucky, nah. Alex, you were the one who booked this trip for us. Yeah. How much was the ticket? About 200 euros. 200 euros. What? 100 each. Yeah. ก็ใครที่สนใจคาราโคมอยากมาแบบปลอดภัยและถูกกฎหมายนะครับแนะนำเลยครับ What did you search for the keyword? Small group tour for uh, catacombs. วันนี้ลงมา It's only like six of us. Yeah. เพราะฉะนั้น Alex, thank you for today. Hey, bye bye. Thank you. Alex, bye bye. Bye bye.